morning everybody. Um, uh, I have not been in the best of moods since lately. Since since about Sunday. The reason being is because sad news. lost another brother in the biking world we lost another biker bro and this time this one hits hard because this one is close to me like I know this guy you know Let's pick it up. <laughs> so the pain that I feel far more greater than if just a random person died and I didn't know the person and of course gonna feel pain gonna it's gonna hurt because it's someone that you know personally it's someone that you interact with you know so it's hurt it, it hurts a lot I don't know where to start guys like mind been in a in a wandering kind of stage like my mind hasn't been settled like it's hard to accept the truth that yo the man really gone you know it's very hard to accept the truth um, I'm gonna throw in a bunch of clips as well of when we used to ride together Every morning, every morning we used to travel to work because he sold, well, he didn't really sell his bike, he gave his bike away to one of his good friends, basically. And after that he was kind of, he was, he was taking bus. So we did kind of link and start, he started traveling with me at morning time to work because we work quite close to each other. Every morning, six o'clock, he called me. He said, Guzman, you ready? He said, yeah, man. Because a Guzman, he called me. He called me Guzman or Paradise. <laughs> but he called me Guzman. Mainly Guzman, he called me. You see me? Every morning, I used to... I'm going to show you where I used to pick him up. It's right down the road from here. So. We used to travel to work. That was back when I had a white bike. And if you don't know what the white bike is, go in my past videos. You'll see where I bought a Zamco 250. 2020. Which year is this? 2023? I don't remember. 2022? Yeah. So he lived here, somewhere off here, and I used to pick him up right around the corner, right here on the right side where you see this car, I used to pick him up right here every morning, every single morning, and we travel to work together. together every morning and every evening because even though he's not supposed to be at work until like maybe um, 8 o'clock 8 30 in trouble with me just forget the ride you see me in trouble with me 
wake up extra early and travel with me just to get the ride to work and I leave work well we both leave work at 5 but because of my work I don't leave work at 5 I leave work after 5 like an hour or so after 5 so he leaves work at 5 he normally wait for me every evening Every, every, unless I'm late, unless at 8 o'clock I go and he, and he needs to go home, he will go but wait for me every evening I will travel come up every evening every morning, every evening you see me? and that was our program for like 2 months straight you see me? that was our program for a while you guys know what the funny thing is I think I might have avoided my accident if he was there as in the week that I met in the accident the Monday we, we drop him at work the Monday and him tell me say he now go he now go there for the week he might go go carrying that so you know said that leaves me alone to travel in the night so the road that I normally take to pick him up I wouldn't take that road well I can't take that road but I wouldn't or I don't, I didn't so I took a different road and I think because of that well not really because of that but, but the fact that I took a different road it's yeah, still because of that, whatever the fact that I took a different road it put me in the position to be in the accident so what I'm saying is basically if he was near if I was taking him home in the evenings in that week I would not have been in an accident that's what, I, that's what I'm saying who knows what destiny is destined, you understand? but that's what, I, that's what I kind of believe you know, so he would have saved me from the accident and going down the line better yet if I didn't if I wasn't in the accident, then he would still be traveling to work, which then puts it in a spot where he wouldn't have bought this new bike that he bought. Oh, some reason we don't know. The thing is. He used to ride a blue bike, which I think it was a Zamko. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, pass the wheel, dog. Let <laughs> cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> was a 150 yeah and he gave that bike away and then he bought a Supra 250 oh turn stunt in oh, yes alive alive you see me so he bought a Supra 250 an orange Supra and um, that bike he was that might did give him some trouble so he couldn't really ride he never trusted for ride go work and it might take him time when I spend some money on the bike and all of them things <coughs> you see me so that's how he travelled with me because he never he never really trusted 250 Supra to really go work because it left him a road like two times already so after the Supra now and I met in the accident he had no way to reach work apart from the bus system you understand? He never have no way and as a biker, me look out for him come here and say yo, as a biker you know the bus system is here so I know uh, you see me, I try to help him out in that situation but after I met in the accident he was left to himself basically so what he did was to sell the Supra he sold the Supra and he bought a 
missile. Not land bomb, missile. Somewhere along here his accident actually happened. I don't know where but somewhere from the tire shop. I really don't know where honestly. But it's somewhere along this line. You know from down the road. missile in November, in the ending part of November if I'm not mistaken he bought that missile during the Black Friday sale so he bought it sometime near about because he called me on when he didn't call me he called me the 5th or the 4th of October which was a Sunday like I think he bought the bike like the Saturday or the Friday one of them did it and he called me the Sunday and showed me the bike, showed me pictures of the bike and stuff. I mean, I said, yeah, brother, that's good. You see me? And I said, that's good, bro. Let's take your time and roll that thing. Mm. And I got the sad news like Saturday. At the time of making this video, it would have been Saturday God. Got a news, or I saw that somebody met in, accident, in an accident right in Stony Square of the road. So me now, I wasn't, honestly I wasn't paying it much attention. I wasn't paying it much attention because I was saying, okay, somebody met in an accident, you know. Normal thing. And I didn't really see the bike so good, but I saw that it was a black bike. But in my mind, I wasn't really considering that it could have been him because he has the same bike black bike, red seat, red rims it's a Sunday now after the crash happened, the Sunday I saw somebody send no, I saw somebody post a picture of the bike on the ground I would look on the picture, I'm scrolling from the picture and say wait, that bike can look so familiar you know I said I might look so familiar but it now happened to me that it could have been him still you understand so when I look on the bike now I start free the bike and I say no man something wrong I contact the person who pulls up the picture of the bike and I say yo how the bike can look like uh, my virgin so you see me told it and the person like I think they said back a sad face and say yeah I told it. So me never did that take that as nothing. So same time I call him, I call Tobin. Him phone goes straight advice me and I said, right, did I go on now? And I said, okay, look like him phone mash up. So but wait maybe an hour or half hour or so and call him back. Same thing vice me. The judge. Shortly after that, I see somebody send a, a picture of him in our group. And I say, wait, the person I say, rest in peace. And I say, what the? I say, what? I say, we are talking about rest in peace. Put two and two together and realize they are a bike. Look back on the picture of them when he sent me on the bike and realize they are a bike. And I said, Jaja, when I look for the license plate, it's a brand, brand new license plate. And I said, Jesus, please. Fall to God and I said, General God, please, please, please help out my virgin. You see me? Say, Yo, can't be no bad news right now. You see me? Can't be no bad news right now. And same time I was going to Shem's bike show because all he died on the Sunday. And Shem's bike show was the he died on the Sunday, Shem's bike show was the same Sunday. But he met in accident Saturday night. Same time I'm ready to go to Shem Bike Show. So I get ready and go down my yard. When we reach down my yard, his mother and father was already leaving. So 
there wasn't anybody for me to talk to, but there was this one person um, who was here outside. He said, Yo, I want a really good one. The person I said, Yeah, man, told me that joke. I said, Fuck, I said, Two can it. The person said, Yeah, man, the gods is here. He said, soul yo like from Sunday till now be a diary I have like me I tell you like this is never something I really want here in this season the fact that the man just buy a bike I don't know if it's third bike or it's fourth bike but he just buy a brand new bike and two weeks later or less than two weeks later this happened to the man oh god man Rough brother, I'm not telling you, rough. The worst news in, a, in a the Christmas season, I'm not telling you, brother. The worst news ever. <sighs> From that, I try. I've been just trying to cope, you like. I've been trying to cope, man. My message to all the bikers out there. You see this thing that is on your head that's called a helmet? Please wear it. And wear it properly. Don't catch it for your head. Fit it for your head properly and buckle it down. Because it makes no sense you wear a helmet and you're involved in an accident, the helmet flies off. And your head leaves bare against this rough pavement right here. Hold on. You understand? It makes no sense. So protect on yourself, guys. Yes, like seriously, protect on yourself. It, 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 it don't make no sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a helmet for your head because I don't know what happened in Tobin's case. I don't know if he was wearing a helmet. Normally, he is the type to wear a helmet. You see me? Uh, I don't remember if he normally wears like a half helmet or whatever, whatever, but... I'm not telling you guys, just... Just protect on yourself sufficiently, you understand, because... Honestly, Tommy isn't supposed to have been dead, bro, I swear. Tobin shouldn't be dead. The fuck will come over here so fuck out of He's not supposed to be dead guys. He's only like 24 if I'm not mistaken. Young, young, young youth. They understand no live no life yet. You yeah, see me when you hear them man they talk about the work when they passionate about the work when they do you know. Yeah, I tell you. Money time when me and him are fuck. And we are real. I tell you so the man passionate about what he does. You see me? And as a young youth, he have ambition, he have ambition, you're afraid. You see me? The man supposed to all start driving him company and all of them things. You understand? All of them things that the man supposed to do. And it's really sad to see that the man life cut short. You see me? I don't know who was wrong, whether he was wrong or whether the, 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 the driver was wrong of the vehicle or what. I don't know, I can't tell you. <clears throat> but it's just sad. It's just real sad. I'm mean, not telling you, like, I take it hard. I take it hard because I somebody want me know. Understand? <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video pretty soon. Uh, but uh, my message to all the bikers out there, I feel too now, you see me? You no can't see me on the road without helmet. You see me? You don't know how see me on the road without helmet, especially if I'm the one riding the bike not going to see it 
You see me? It's, it's not hard to wear a helmet. <laughs> it's not hard to wear a helmet, yo. And it's the number one protection. Number one protection for you. So, all you have to do, wear the helmet and ride safe on the road. <laughs>